AI in BI Artificial Intelligence in Business Intelligence Welcome to this video in Microsoft Power BI. Here AI was introduced in Microsoft Power BI three years back and very few people were aware about it. Now in this video, we'll try to understand how artificial intelligence can be used inside business intelligence tool which is Power BI. Let's try to decode. Now there might be a person in your company or you might be the person who keeps on sitting and finding out the answers, the root cause analysis of any data. For example, if I give you data and ask you like why the profit went down, why the sales went down, what was the reason of that thing? So the reason can be different parameters. It can be a city, it can be location, it can be a person, it can be anything which is related to that data set. So reasons can be many. To get the answers, people spend minimum four to five hours on this particular activity to get the answers. In this video, we'll try to decode and bring down that time four to five hours to let's say five minutes and you can say less than five minutes. So this is possible using AI feature already present in Power BI. Let's try to understand. Let's try to do the practical. What I can do is I'll just bring some data in this particular file. I'll just go to Technoet sales data. It's a simple Excel file which has kind of information about the customers, location, about the quantity, profit and sales. So, let me introduce that data set to you. If I go to this data tab on the left hand side, it has different data types, different columns and things over here. So it contains date data type, which is order date and shipping date. When was the order received and when was the shipping done? It also contains the textual data type like the shipping mode. Was it a fast delivery or a slow delivery express mode, customer ID, customer name and the segment. On the right hand side, it contains some geographical data type like country, city, state, postal code or region. It contains some textual data type like category, subcategory and so on. On the right hand side, it contains some numerical fields which is sales, quantity, discount and profit. So let's try to understand first the problem statement. Here I will just create a simple column chart which contains the order date and the second part will contain the sales sales and now i'll just try to increase the height okay and the width as well now i'll just click on the fourth button to expand one level down and this gives me years and quarters i have to increase the size of this text and uh, because it looks very small customize current theme in the text i'll try to make it 15 so it is visible to everyone and i'll just minimize the other two tabs now just need to add the data label now here comes the problem statement so if you observe here the sales are visible here based on years and quarters. So if you see there's a pattern going on, the first few quarters having the low sales and the last quarters having a good sales. You see that's a pattern given here. Now the question here is, now the company has found some problem here that because in 2020 quarter four, please observe 2020 quarter four, the sales was 236,000. Now in the next quarter, the sales has come down to 123,000. What can be the problem? What can be the issue? why the sales have decreased in that particular one quarter here. So now different answers can be there. Okay, let me show you on the right hand side. It can be maybe one category did not sell well. It can be because the customers didn't come back. It can be because of the product didn't go well or maybe some region did not perform well, something. The reasons can be many. So to do this activity, to find out the root cause answers for this particular thing, people spend minimum three to four hours in the organization. What they do is they create pivot table, pivot table, pivot table. They create different, different visuals and then get the answers. Now in this video, you'll understand how to get those answers in less than five minutes. In fact, in one minute, you can get the answers. It is possible. Let's try to decode. So from 236,000 to 123,000, if the sales have come down, whom should we ask? We'll directly ask this particular quarter one. Why did you decrease? So I can right click on this place. I can say, as analyze and explain the decrease. Don't ask the other person directly ask that particular quarter, explain the decrease. So less than 60 seconds, you will get the answers. Okay. So here is the first thing. It says it has decreased by 47.84 percentage. Now try to understand if I ask you to write this calculation to get the answers, we have to spend one function, find out the answers. It takes a lot of time. So this is the first reason it has given the order ID. Okay, and if I scroll down, if you see 20 different visuals approximately have been created 
telling you that why the sales have decreased in that one quarter. Let's try to understand the first question. So it says by category. This is sum of sales by year and quarter and category. So 236,000 has decreased to 123,000. What is the major reason here? The major reason is the furniture. If you see minus 57,000. How much time it took me to understand? Less than 60 seconds. So second reason is this one office supplies and third one is technology. This was because of category furniture. Second, if I scroll down and try to find the simple one, if now I want to find out which region there was a lower sales, in this looking at the visual, less than one minute I'll take to understand that East region was responsible because of lower profit, the first main region. Okay, all the regions are responsible, but the major region is the East region. If I scroll down and find out, the major segment, which is the corporate segment, I'm reading from here, is the corporate segment is the major reason because of decline in the sales here. So what it has done is it gave me all the answers. Now imagine if you're not a Power BI user, if you are a simple Excel user, pause the video and see and understand how much time this will take to get the answers, lot of time. So people spend lot of time to get the answers. They don't think about taking the decision. Now, if I know that the corporate segment has huge decline in the profit, I will just quickly call the corporate person. Your uh, department sales are very low. Find out what went wrong to your department. So this visuals help us to take a quick decision. So rather than spending hours together to get the answer. Now coming back. So it says it is also so decent. It is explaining that corporate accounted for majority of decrease among segment. It is explaining. It's peacefully explaining me corporate accounted for majority of decrease the relative contribution made by corporate changed the most this was a major reason if i scroll up again it says east and central accounted for majority of decrease among region okay so this is the east and central region so it gives me the answer here so now i can just click outside and come back here okay this was ai in bi artificial intelligence in business intelligence now let's see the other scenario the company had a sales of 144,000 in quarter three of 2020 and the sales have increased to 236,000. Okay. So in 2020 quarter three, the sales was 144,000 and in quarter four, it came to 236,000. Now there's an increase in the profit or increase in the sales. Okay. Maybe it, it can be an also profit. Now the company wants to distribute the profit with all the people in the form of maybe incentive, maybe salary hike, maybe some perks or maybe some gift. It can be to a customer. It can be to a region manager. It can be to a product manager, anyone. But they do not have the clear idea whom should we distribute. Okay. They have a difficult understanding right now. So let's try to get the answer in less than 60 seconds. Trust me with button clicks. So if the profit or the sales have increased, which is 236,000, why did it increase? Don't ask here and there other people. Just ask directly this quarter four. Right click, analyze. You tell me why did you increase? Explain the increase. Now less than 60 seconds, it told me that the first thing is 64.20 is the increment from the previous quarter. And you see all the answers it has given. So let's try to find out the first simple answer I can say if I scroll down. Here, corporate segment was responsible because of 50,000 in the term of amount, the sales have increased. Then it was consumer segment, then it was home office segment. So this was the first reason. It says corporate accounted majority of increase among segment. So now as a decision maker, I can call the corporate segment, appreciate that person. Because of you, there's a huge increment in the sales. I want to give you in the form of incentives, maybe a party, maybe a discount or whatever you can think of. So helping me, the end user to take a quick decision. That's one example. Second, if I scroll down, it says because of the standard class, standard class accounted for the majority of increase in the shipping. Okay. And if I can scroll and get the answers. So this is the beauty of AI in BI, artificial intelligence in business intelligence. Business intelligence, this Power BI is a business intelligence software. Now, that's the third example I'm giving you. Suppose I want to compare any quarter with any quarter. You call as a QNQ analysis, quarter on quarter analysis. If I want to compare quarter one of 2019, maybe with quarter two of 2021, any quarter with any quarter. So when we selected this particular quarter, it was comparing with the previous quarter, right? When we selected 123, it was comparing with the previous quarter. 
if I want to randomly compare one quarter with the other quarter, okay, Q1 of this place with Q2 of the other place. How do I do that? Select both the bars using control click. Then you can just right click and say analyze, explain the increase. Compare both the quarters and say explain the increase. So you see 2019 Q1 is compared with 2021 Q2. Okay, and I can just quickly get the answers. Any quarter with any quarter. It is possible. And here, if I click on this place, it will go to the month level. And now I can compare any month data with any month data, previous month, next month, and so on, and quickly get the answers. So spend less time on the manual activity. Try to use AI in BI feature. Now that's not a new feature. This feature was there in Power BI from minimum three years back. Okay, AI in BI, you can see I have recorded one of the video three years back as well. So AI in BI feature already is available. Now, finally, suppose if I like this particular visual, analyze, explain the increase. If I like this particular visual and I want to include in this particular report, I can just click on this particular link, which is plus icon. You can click on this plus icon after 15 days. Okay, so when I click on this particular button after 15 days, this visual would be added at the back end. Okay, and you can see that's a waterfall chart added at the back end. Now I can go for a presentation and explain the reason why this particular sales have increased or decreased and I can give the answers here. Now, why to add after 15 days? Because you do a lot of effort, you do a lot of work, but your manager does not appreciate. So what you can do is you can tell to your manager that, sir, I've spent almost 15 nights and 15 days to get the answer on that. And this is what I've got it. Okay. So manager will appreciate because if you do a hard work, they appreciate only for one or two or three minutes and then the next work comes to you. So that's on a lighter note. Give them immediately. Don't give them after 15 days. Uh, this is the AI in BI feature. Help everyone with this feature, not only your company, but everyone, whoever you can find it. Don't add after 15 days, add it immediately, depending upon your you know, relation with your boss and manager, you can add it. Great. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you have understood the AI feature in Microsoft Power BI and how it can help you. There are 10 more examples you can Google out and find out and it can help you in your day-to-day -day activities. I wish you all the best and thank you for watching this video.